So today we're going to be reviewing three apps to remove the background from your images. So whether it's for nicening up your family photos or for doing your YouTube thumbnails or any other type of graphics like that. Without any further delay, let's jump onto my laptop. So here we are on the website remove.bg and this website makes it super simple to remove the background on your images. It is basically one click and you have the background removed. They try to make it very, very simple, less complicated than a lot of the other software like Photoshop, etc. So if you're an absolute newbie, newbie and you don't know anything about graphic design and all of these other things, this website makes it super simple. So let's try one. So I downloaded the picture of a model. Now the reason why I'm using this model is because the real test comes when you're removing a background and there's hair blowing in the wind as you would see with this image here. Alright, so we're putting it to the test to see how well it removes the background without deleting the strands of hair. So I have a model that I downloaded here. So it's super simple. You just drag the image anywhere on the website and it does its thing. There you go. Super simple, clean, no problems with the removal of the background affecting the hair. So that is great. That was easy. So this website makes it easy. Do you like the results? Yes, I do. So from here, you just download the image and this image with the removed background is what you will end up with, which is, which was, it was pretty good. It's, it's really done well, really clean. So I would recommend it, right? The challenge usually comes where if there are any tweaks needed, then you won't be able to do any tweaks but for the most part this is a well done image so you download it now one thing is that when you download it you're getting it 447 by 559 which is not the best size or quality if you want to download the full image then you will have to pay now the pricing is extremely cost effective it's uh, credit based subscription so you get it at 20 cents per image so if you're not removing backgrounds very often you can stick with the one free credit but if you're someone who has to do a lot of images then I would definitely recommend you subscribe to one of the plans you have a risk-free 14 days money-back guarantee or you can use the free forever account which I assume the one free credit is per month it's renewed but this is if you're doing just a one-off image but just note that you wouldn't get the best size or quality of the downloaded image otherwise you'll have to pay now this is the website canva.com it's known as a super powerful graphics design to design anything it's not really known as a background removal tool However, they did add this feature recently where you can actually remove the background to as part of your design. So let's test it out. So let's say you're doing a social media post and you want to remove the background from an image of yourself or your family or whatever is the case. So I'm going to click here to create a social media design so they would prepare it with all the specs and everything in place and they will have some suggestions here as well so i'm not going to use any of these templates i'm just going to use a blank template and i'm going to put my model with the background image cut out so let's see how we do that now i already uploaded the model so let's just drag her across into the canvas or the working space so there you go she's there and next, what you want to do is remove the background. So to do that, right, you click on the image and let's see, you click on the image. So you have this menu to the top, effects, filter, adjust, crop, flip. Now, I did say that Canva was a really, really powerful editor 
even for beginners it the learning curve is not that steep it's very easy to pick up so let's check out the background removal tool so we're going into effects and here you see some options where you can add some different looks some overlays onto the image but what we want to do is remove the background with one click so you click here background remover and take note make sure she all the strands of here that are there make sure that when the background is removed they're still there that is the real test now i could have used an image of myself but i don't have any here so this would make it all right there we go folks so the background is completely removed very very clean well done all the strands of hair are there present so this was a, a really good crop out of the background so this is canva so from here you can add text to the image if it's a, a youtube thumbnail or some other social media graphics or if you're doing a, a quote social media quote for facebook or something and you wanted to add text to the image or add an overlay change the coloring etc you can do all that in canva now canva of the three is the most versatile because it is a full-blown graphic design software or app or website so of the three this is the most versatile next we are on clippingmagic.com now this is one of my favorites and you will see why so let's drag our model now all of the interfaces are pretty simple you just drag the image into it and for the most part it's usually like one click and the background would be removed so let's drag our model anywhere onto the website right so the image is dragged now this is what happens sometimes where the cropping of the background wouldn't take into account all of the strands of hair and whatnot so the reason why i like clipping magic is because you do have some control over what is cropped out and what remains now they would have gone ahead and used their artificial intelligence their ai and they would have done an initial crop now it's not as clean as the others and that sometimes happen even with the others where they they would not have a clean crop out of the background so the reason why i like clipping magic is because you have that control you know in just in case the crop out is not as clean you still have the control to be able to add stuff to be cropped out or to save stuff that isn't supposed to be cropped out so let me show you so you have a green tool your red tool and your hair tool and a eraser scalpel and the hand to drag the image up and down so you simply select the tool now green is what you want to keep right, let's say i wasn't doing an auto clip right so i drag the image you have the original image to your left and the result to the right so you choose your green and it doesn't have to be perfect you trace around the what you want so what you would do is take a green and you would trace what you want to keep now it doesn't have to be exact you know going around her face her head her arms it doesn't have to be exact you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this either it's pretty fun actually that is what you want to keep so you come as close as possible to her hair and like i said it doesn't have to be perfect you can also zoom in if you want to get really granular and that would be that so next you want to click a red tool now your red tool is a subtract tool that takes away this indicates what is to be cropped out so what you want to do is crop out the background and notice as i move on the original right you're seeing the results that the background is being removed there you go it's a nice cut out and you go right around and it's 
giving me a good crop out here and you just click here now if for some reason it doesn't crop out everything and or there are some things that you don't want cropped out you go back to your green tool and you just trace and there you go that'll clean up that now they have added this recently which is the hair tool so let's test this hair tool and see if it brings back some of the hair there you go so it does bring back some of the hair rough to say it doesn't have to be perfect but it's doing a great job or well, i'm doing a great job <laughs> It, it didn't do such a great job with the automatic cutter but like i said sometimes it happens with the other two remove.bg and canva where the strands of hair you know it won't capture it but with clippingmagic.com it allows you that control to be able to control now so this is rough i'm not gonna spend too much time on it but this is the general idea so this is what clipping magic does now let's look at pricing so the prices are really comparable between all three software so let's look at canva now canva has a free plan now like i said it's a powerful all-inclusive uh, graphic design editor software app website however you want to call it even at the free plan however so in order to get the background removal tool you need to upgrade to pro now the pro is a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription so if you're paying for it yearly you'll be paying 9.95 a month so that's roughly what, 120 a year and you're paying yearly now with the monthly subscription which is the one that i have for canva because i use it for a whole lot more uh beside the background removal is 12.95 a month which is pretty good um bearing in mind the amount of templates that you have and, yeah, the ability to set branding kits etc do logos and whatnot and whatnot so remove background pricing I think I showed it before, it's a credit based system. So to get 40 credits a month, you pay $9. To get 200 credits, $39 a month and on and on. So it all the pricing all depends on your usage, how often you're gonna be use it, using it, how many images you're gonna be cropping out monthly, right? So you can use that as the measure as to which plan you would stick with if you're doing it ever so often just once in a blue moon then definitely you can use it the free account and remove your backgrounds and with clipping magic it's almost similar but still a bit cheaper than remove background it also uses a credit system so you get a hundred at the standard pricing you have a hundred credits per month and you're paying $7.99 a month and your unused credits do roll over which and your unused credits do roll over so that's an added benefit now, i have a clipping magic account as well as a canva account so who would use these background removals so if you're a hobbyist basically so from time to time i would you know do family photos and I would just remove the background and change the background if it's something that I don't like. If we're in a place that the background is busy and you want something more intimate or whatever is the case. You can use it for that if you're just using it as a hobby just to nice up some of the family photos. You can also use it if you have an online store, a Shopify store or whatever. If you want to remove the backgrounds of your products so that they pop out and they look amazing on your store then definitely consider one of these tools also if you're into social media graphics like you're doing youtube thumbnails to allow yourself to pop out of the thumbnails so that people can click you can get that engagement then definitely consider these tools so in conclusion best value i would definitely give to canva 
because at $12.95 a month you don't only have a background removal tool but you have a tool that you can do so many things there's so many templates on canva from presentations to youtube thumbnails to posters postcards you have animated stuff logos um and so much more instagram posts infogra infographics and so much more so this i highly recommend and in terms of value of the three i would definitely say canva next is and canva is definitely the most versatile as well in terms of most control i i like having that extra control i mean if you're somebody who you definitely don't want to have to touch graphics you just want something done one click then definitely go background removal it's i would say it's one of the simplest ones but clipping magic which i personally prefer is i like that ability to be able to have a bit of more control and in terms of pricing across the board pricing is comparable it's not that far off so they're all pretty comfortably priced so definitely check these out if you want to do background removal for your graphics whatever graphics you need to have whatever graphics whatever images you need the background removed i'll definitely recommend any one of these three